guys good evening good afternoon or good morning wherever you are so this is another react native animation tutorial and in this animation tutorial I will see how to flip her so the end result would be like this you click on her should flip or the end of the word is how to flip an image horizontally around y-axis when we rotate an image we'll rotate it around y-axis just like this okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right, so I have some default code here. I think hopefully it makes sense. In this case, I'm using safe area view to occupy the whole screen. All right, and later on, uh, we want to put everything in the center of the screen. So let's go ahead and create another view and give it some style. So mm, styles uh, dot uh, say view. Well, I'll, I'll call it my view. Okay, cool. And uh, what, what do we want with the view? We want to put everything in the center of the screen. So to do that, let's create flex one and give it justify content, justify content center, horizontal, uh, and then align items center. And we know that these two properties puts everything in the center of the screen. So we created that one. Now what else we'll do, we'll create this button here. So we'll create the button with the touchable opacity. Let's go ahead and do it and we'll create a style for our button so go ahead and create it styles dot button all right okay now we'll create our uh this button with you know, and we'll assign assign some properties so let's go ahead and do it so i want to give it some background color so background color 33 cc ff and uh, what else? Um, I want to give it padding and margin. So padding five, margin five. Okay, we're good. And uh, what else? We want to create a text component inside this button. So let's go ahead and do it. And it will create a style component for the style uh, for this. So styles dot uh, text button. Okay. So what else we'll do here? So we'll give it some properties. So it would be font size, say 18, font family, or font weight anyway. So let's go to font weight, font uh, family. And uh, what else we can do it? And we can give it color. So color is white. Yes, we are good. All right, and what else we want to do next? We want to create this text here, over here. So let's go ahead and do it. So we'll put it within text component and uh, we'll give it style. So styles dot uh, text title, I guess. Okay, so text title will be here. So text title. Okay, so we can copy some of these properties from here directly and use them over here so instead of 18 we'll use 22 and instead of color white same as our background color 33 button background color i mean all right okay so that's what we have so far and what else we want to create um okay i think i'm missing a text over here so let's give it a text so the text is flip her and over here we can say uh, react native horizontal um, image flip view okay we're good and we want to create this image between these two so we'll create our image component over here image uh, all right so for now we can close it like this so I'll give it source so in this case source says require I saved it in my asset folder, so I'll call it directly from there. Girl.png. And uh, what else? We can give it style. So styles.image. So let's go ahead and create it. So let's put our image right over here. So image. So first, uh, first I'll give it a margin. A margin, say five, and we are good. All right. So, so far we have done this thing. So let's go ahead and save it. Make sure everything is working correctly. Okay, yes, perfect. 
And of course, uh, this button doesn't work. So first we want to click on this button and want to flip the image. Okay, to do that, we need to create flipping. So how do we want to flip? If the image is here, as I click it, it will rotate 180 degree. So it means her hand, the right hand would be left hand, left hand would be right hand. So, well, we'll start with the default value and we'll call it, uh, say, const animated value, say, new animated dot value zero. Okay, all right. So that's what we want to do. And what else we want? We want to animate this one as the animation start. So let's go. Uh, uh, well, actually, we want to create a press handler first. So let's go ahead and do it. On press, say, flip image. I think we are good. Now let's create this function. Const flip image. Okay, good. So once we click on it, we'll start the animation. So we'll use the timing function for now and it will be animated, our animated value. And uh, I will finish it to 180 and we'll take duration two seconds or 2000 milliseconds. All right, and then we'll start the animation. So once we click the image or on, on press handler, it'll call and start the animation and the default value is zero will start from zero and finish at 180 degree all right okay well of course the animation the animation would start but we need to pass this animated value to our image style object over here so let's go ahead and create these conditions okay so first um, i want to uh, say save the animated value somewhere okay so let's go ahead and do it so um, uh, we'll call it constant here, set interpolate, and then would be animated, interpolating this value over here. So, okay, so interpolation will have input range and output range. So input range from zero to 180 degree, and output range for now, zero to, 0 dag to 360 dag okay so well so because uh, rotation doesn't really understand 0 and 80 so we have to convert them to 0 degree 0 degree or to 360 degree of course you can also do 0 degree to 180 degree but the result would be different we are the main reason we are interpolating because the rotation property uh, doesn't really understand 0 and 80 so we convert it to degrees so that's why we do rotation uh, and that's why actually we are doing interpolation sorry so that's why we are doing interpolation okay so now the interpolated value is here and what else we could do we need to pass it to our uh, style object so let's go ahead and create say uh, animated style value I'll call it okay all right so now here we'll pass it to transform it takes a couple of objects so the first one we'll do rotation right rotate dot uh, just pass the value what's the value over here so we can set it to set interpolate right so this is the value over here actually set interpolate and now so animation starts we start interpolating and at the same time we save this interpolated value over here which is our interpolated rotated value and then we need to pass it to our image object image component here but for now this component is not animated so make it part of animated component and uh, we are good all right so let's pass the style here to do that we can do an array of styles here so just simply pass animated uh, style value well I don't see it so this one over here okay well so now let's save it hopefully there are no mistakes and uh, when I click on this button flipper should orient okay so let's go ahead and uh, save it all right so unexpected keyword comes to somewhere here flip image let's see uh co we should be good unexpected keyword 
I guess this one actually. Okay, we're good. All right, so now let's click on this and hopefully should animate return flipper. Yes, right. But that's not what we want, right? Before that, uh, use a native driver. True. Okay, let's do it one more time. Something is weird, right? But I know, let me explain to you why it is happening. So because right now we are rotating 0 to 300 degrees like this, but I don't want to do that. We, we want to rotate it around the Y axis, right? Not the whole X and Y. It's more like there, it's flipping flat, but we don't want it because we want it to uh, uh, flip it around the Y axis like this, left and right will change, her face will change. I mean, the eyes will, uh, will have a different position. She would still look beautiful, don't worry. Um, she's a beautiful girl, right? You would agree with me. So you would like to flip her. I know that. So anyway, so the problem is facing me over here. So instead of rotate, we would do rotate Y and let's go ahead and see it now. Okay. So now we can flip her correctly. Perfect. Okay. Now, well, it's doing too much flip. Of course, it wouldn't work again. So let me re reload it. Okay, let's see. It's rotating or flipping too much, two times actually, which you don't want. Uh, that's because it's happening over here. So uh, 380 degree, right? Yes. So instead of 380 degree, uh, 60 degree, sorry, we'll do, let's do it 180 and see the result. Okay. But of course, we need to reload her again mm. and uh, wait. Sometimes it's slow. Yes, the pretty girl is here. So let's flip her. Perfect, right? Yeah. So of course, uh, we want to flip her back again once I click on this. So how to do that? And it's easy to do that. We need to uh, keep track of the flipping value. To do that, let's go ahead and create another value. It's called current value. Okay. And the current value, the animated first default value is zero. To keep track of this animated value, so we can add an event listener on this value so because we would be keeping track of this one so go ahead and create an event listener for this value so it's easy so animated value dot add listener okay we are good and what do you want to listen to uh, we want to listen to a value and then we want to pass it or save it to another value over here so let's go ahead and just assign the value over here so what is happening let me tell you here so this add listener keeps track of this value and as it as the value changes this value is assigned to our current value so now we can go ahead and grab this value and do something we can do a condition over here okay so what's the condition so if current value uh, equal or more than 90 so it's if it's more than 90 we'll do a and if it's less than 90 we'll do something else so if it's more than 90 which which means it's already animated or flipped so it's more than 90 sorry not more than zero more than 90 more than 90 means the picture has already flipped so we want to put it back to zero so to do that just go ahead and uh, I think I can copy this one over here actually Control X, you good. Okay, so all we need to do is set it to zero. We are good. So let me explain one more time. So we keep track of this value and assign it to current value. And now in once we click on the flip image handler, we check if it's more than 90 or not. If it's more than 90, we set it to zero. It means the image has already flipped, right? So as flipping is done, we want to reset it, reset it to zero. Otherwise, we reset it to 180 degree. So that's all it is saying over here. All right. So now I think we are good so far. So let's save it. Okay. Now let's flip her. She's flipping. Now flip her back. Oh yeah. Her her hands changes. Beautiful, right? Wow. She's looking at you guys. Anyway. So that's how you can flip an image or flip our beautiful lady over here. So anyway, guys, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to give me thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you so much.